Welcome to the family! Hey guys, Jim again, and I am here with what might just be the most beautiful Dooney and Burke purse I have ever seen in my life. And let me just hold up a quarter for scale here, kind of, because this thing is gigantic. I have nothing good for comparison on my desk. Here is like a fake Shopkins card the size of a credit card. But uh, I have not unwrapped this yet, so I thought I would do that on camera and get a really good close look at this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous bag. All you may have heard just now is crinkle, 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 crunchy, crunchy, crinkle. Seriously though, it is so big. I should have done this on my bed. I almost do not have enough room to show just how gigantic and massive this thing is. So of course we have Moana with the heart of Tafiti on her necklace, Pua, a conch shell, Hey, hey, Moana's canoe with Maui and his hook on top and some, I think they're called Kakamora, hanging onto the sides there. But that's not all because let's check out the bottom of this purse, if I can, because the straps are so honking big. Moana, the sea is calling me. And then we do have a nice leather strip down the side. But the back is also so flippin' precious. Okay, back it up, back it up. There we have baby Moa with the ocean wave, and there's little tiny squirt down here, and Grandma Tala doing one of her little ocean dances on the side. And isn't just the coloring on this so gorgeous? But let's check out how the rest of this purse looks. Ooh, we have a really pretty pink lining in here. It's not really silky, it's more like a canvas type. There is so much packing material on this. Oh, I'm hesitant to use scissors, but I don't think I can get around it. Ah, okay. And so there are the straps free of the uh, packaging material. I love that they have like a blue liner on the inside. So it's a white strap and then you twist it over and there's blue sort of uh, touching each other hidden away there. Although for as much as I love this purse, I am a little wary about white leather. I've never had it. I don't know how that handles with like dirt and the elements and stuff. I certainly don't want it to brown or gray over time. And we have our Dooney and Burke 1975 little, uh, what do you call this, placard right here in the middle of the front. But let's check out inside of the bag. I keep getting stuck and focused on details. It's so awkward to do this on camera. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. Oh wow! Look at that, we've got the Moana print from the smaller bags on the top of this. And I don't know if they're all cut like this, I don't know if this is a fussy cut, but it's pretty much perfect. I mean, we have a little bit of the missing, but you can see it really well, you can see the characters really well, nobody's head is like chopped off. So, um, go Junie for that. That's what I hate about patterns, and I'll show you what I mean with the, a mini purse in a minute, that they often are placed so badly, I wish they would fussy cut those. Oh, we've got a tail here that was stuck under inside the purse. And even our zipper has the same uh, blue edge with the white leather. But oh my gosh, this is just so big. This is all just like filling. Oh, I hope it doesn't do like my dog purse and sag really bad when all this is out. And an army worth of silica packets down here. Look at this, wow. All right, I'm gonna have to stand up to get in this section. Okay, so we have a key holder, which I love this. You put your uh, keychains clipped to that, and then you don't lose them in the bottom of your purse. We have our Disney label, our Dooney and Burke label that has a serial number on the back. These really long, annoying care instructions that I would like to rip off, but I'm not gonna do it because it's an expensive Dooney bag. And that same uh, pink kind of canvas is all over the lining in here. We have two decent sized pockets, one bigger than the other. And on the other side, it's probably hard to see it on camera, but this is another Dooney and Burke label with a larger pocket here and a zip away pocket that uh, I think that's the product number in there, Moana 21 tote, and a registration card. Whoop whoop! I'll also note if I can get over here, 
at the top where we have the Moana print, if you notice, it does go along the side of the purse. So where the purse has the little gaps from where um, these flaps do not go all the way to each end. That keeps your image nice and consistent. Oh no, did I already like scuff it? What the heck? I think I scuffed it a little bit moving it around. Oh, this is exactly why I'm always afraid of like light colored purses or anything that's going to be heavy duty use. Well, on the bright side, now it's uh, now it's got a mark on it, so it's usable. It's damaged. It's not pristine anymore. But let's just one more time appreciate the backside of this image and just how flippin' adorable it is. I love that. I thought it would be the same on both sides or blank on the back, but to have baby Moa on the back, it's just so cute. And I'm really surprised that they put a Moana bag out because it's a relatively new movie still, and some of the Disney princesses still haven't had their own Dooney bag, or they've had really bad ones like the one they did for Rapunzel for Tangled. It was just a stock photo that they reprinted and I was not very happy with that design so I didn't get that one. But this one is just beautiful in every little step of the way. Oh my gosh, I just realized down here in the corner there's the stingray pattern from her grandma's back. Oh, it's watching out for her. And there's a little turtle carved into the boat, if you can make that out. Let me try to put some light on it right under Hey Hey. Oh, I love that. I love it when there's a lot more details than you think in a bag because like the Toki Doki prints, it gives you something to look at and study. But I'm gonna let you guys go and I'm gonna work on getting that little bit there in the white buffed out because it's gonna make me crazy. But thank you guys for watching. And if you want one of these gigantic, ginormous Moana tote bags, your best bet is is to get to shop Disney as fast as you can. I don't know how long these are gonna last and I don't know if they'll be back in stock, but I've noticed with a lot of the Dooney and Burke purses, the designs do not replenish once they run out. They just move on to doing something different. So good luck to you and I hope you beat the scalpers. Oh wait, wait, ha ha ha. I said I'd bring up the problem with pattern purses. So um, here it is, here we go. I'm not gonna take this one out of the plastic cause there's really no point. It's just gonna be a little thing. Now, if you notice we have like firework patterns over here, so it's not really a huge deal. You know, you're not really losing anything of value if it's covered by the Dooney and Burke logo. But see, like up here, Minnie's got a pretty good placement. But another one of these that I've gotten has Tinkerbell where her head is right up here where it's cut off. So you don't see her head. It looks really creepy. And even here on the side, Mickey is cut off. I gotta cover Moana's face so the camera will focus on Mickey. Mickey is cut off in the scene and so is the Walt Disney World. So if this had been brought over a little bit and fussy cut, it would be a really nice little purse. But unfortunately, they don't tend to do that. And see, even on the back here, we've got the castles cut off at the top and Dumbo is mostly on the bottom of the purse. So it just doesn't make for such a nice thing to carry around for how expensive these can be. So that's why I don't love to get the patterns. And when I do, I try to get the biggest purse I can just so that I'm sure to have every character in it because the placement is not all the same. But on purses like these, where it is one massive image, they are all the same. So I love this Moana purse. Good job, Dooney, and good luck to everybody searching for it. Anyways, we will see you next time, family members. Bye! Before you go, if you enjoyed, don't forget to follow us and look for more of our content. And if you're really dedicated, there's a link to sign up for our newsletter in the description below so that you'll stay in the loop for future videos and projects. Also, please check out The Fangirl, where I talk about all kinds of movies, shows, and even games and comics. Well, that's about it. So see you next time, family members.